there, stamping friends. It's Jackie Ballheis from Clump and Stampers. Would you like to learn how to make some quick and easy note cards? We're gonna use the sweetest cherries to do that. This is what I like to call a sip card. Stamps, ink, and paper. That's really all you need to make some cute cards. Well, we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna use a punch. So stamps, ink, paper, plus a punch and we'll make some really cute note cards that you can send to family and friends. They're easy, and what I really like about this is they're big images, they're bold, they're fun. You don't have to do a lot of work and you'll have it ready to pop in the mail. Now quickly, before we flip the camera down, just a reminder that in the description of this video will be a link to take you to a corresponding blog post. I do that with all my videos so that you can click on it Go over to my blog, you'll see pictures of the cards I make today. Well, I'm gonna make one and I'm gonna show you three others. You'll have four different ideas and I'll have all the, the supplies I use and the cutting dimensions and everything. So if you'd like to make these sweet cherry cards, go over to the blog. It'll make it super easy by following all the details that I have over there. And then while you're there, if you need a Stampin' Up! catalog, you can request one of those or get the link to shop for any Stampin' Up! products that you'd like to shop for. But we're not here to talk, right? We're here to stamp. So let's flip it down, the camera down, and I want to share with you some fun cards with this stamp set. Hang on a second. Here's a peek at the stamp set. And what I like about it is all the fun different greetings. And it just makes putting cards together for all occasions super easy. Now we're gonna use one of my favorite products for our paper. Remember stamps, ink, we've got three colors, four colors actually, and then paper. For paper, it's the note cards and envelopes. I love these because they come in a package of 20 and you get the card and the envelope. So you don't even need to cut anything. So let's set this aside. And the first thing we're gonna do is play with our punch. Remember, stamp, sink, paper, plus a punch on this one. Now this punch, like quite a few that Stampin' Up! has, I hope you don't get too much of a glare there, has several images. We flip it over and we can punch out leaves, stem, and cherry. Now I know some people figure out all these fancy dancy ways to, to stamp everything and punch it at once, but I, it's too hard for me, to be honest. So what I like to do is one image at a time. So we're gonna do the cherry first. Now I always take my punch before I start and I just have one and a half inch strips here and I look at and I'm go, okay, the cherry has to be upright towards the bottom of my piece of scrap paper and then it'll punch out nice and easy for me. So we'll stamp it like so and then we're gonna go ahead and slide that in there, get a nice little white border all the way around and punch it and pieces go flying everywhere. So there's our cherry. Now we're gonna do a stem. So let's bring in our soft suede. Now the same thing here, we wanna look at our punch and it's curving up there to the right. The bottom of the stem is um, down at the bottom. So we'll do the same thing there on our scrap paper. So it's nice and easy to just stick in there and punch. Now, let's see here, there's that piece. And you know, you wouldn't want, you know, sometimes we go, oh, we could do it right there because there's space there. But now I would be stuck. How do I punch it out? So that's why I always follow my punch. Okay, then let's see, let's grab this other piece of scrap paper here. I. On this one, I looked at my leaves and I'm like, okay, it's the same leaf. So I could punch it any place on there um, or stamp it to, to punch out either one of these. Now I want you to just take note that I could punch this, but now I've got all this paper that's wasted. So I've decided if I wanna stamp my leaf at that angle, what I need to do, oops, let's see, we don't want brown, do we? We want our green. I'm going to come over to the left side of my paper. And now, because I'm using this leaf, let's see if that'll fit in there. I don't have as much waste because this is already kind of chopped up wasted paper where if I was to punch this one, which you'll see if I do it here, we'll stick it in there. You know, now I punched out a lot of stuff I don't need, okay? Not a big deal, just a little paper saving tip. Now we got good leaves and just white leaves. Let's find the couple that we need there. And then these leaves have a second part just to give it some detail. And I liked using the shaded spruce on these just to have a little bit of variation with color. So we'll stamp a couple leaves. And I think, 
let's see, we got two leaves, we have two stems, and two cherries. Okay, I think we actually have a couple extra pieces here, but that's okay. Now, for our note card and envelope for this design, I want to start by stamping my greeting, the one that says sweet, first, because I need to make sure, I don't have a ton of space, and I want to make sure that the greeting especially is going to fit on here. So let's just go ahead and put that right there. So we have sweet, and then I have the stamp that says birthday wishes. So our card is gonna be a birthday card, and we're gonna just stamp birthday wishes under there. So sweet birthday wishes. Now, to put our card together, we're gonna take this little hash mark stamp to make a background, just to add a little bit more because I thought I could stick the cherries right on there, but it's a little bit boring. So what I did is I took this, stamped it on scrap paper first, and we're gonna go ahead and stamp it at kind of an angle down there. And we'll stamp another one. And let's just bring that one in like so. Now all this is doing is kind of filling up some of that white space and it's gonna make our card super cute. Now let's put our two cherries together. And what I found works the best for that little stem is to take it and stick it behind. And then on the back side here, just use a little piece of scotch tape. And that way, let's see, that kind of went at quite an angle. I don't want it to angle quite so much here. That's better. Okay, there's one. And then let's take another piece of scotch tape for our other one here. Yeah little parts and pieces everywhere. Flip that over, stick that on there. Don't want that tape to show, we got a little bit too much, there we go. Then let's grab our dimensionals. Let's see, there we go. And I am going to just put two dimensionals on the back of each one here. And then we're gonna stick these right over where we made our little background. And it, I think it just really makes these cherries pop even more than if they were just on a plain white um, piece. Now make sure, let's see, we should fold that. Whoa, through that, didn't I? Make sure that they're not um, going off the edge there. And for our leaf, I'm gonna go ahead and put a dimensional on the back of that as well. And then we're gonna just kinda tuck it in there like so. And our other one like a so. Well, we're running off there, so I guess yeah, I think we can still get it. Let's see here. There we go. And there is our card. Now for the inside, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. So let's make our little hash mark down there on the corner. And then, let's see, we're going to put one more cherry. It looks like we need to do one more of the stems. So let's do one of those real quick here. I I had enough pieces, but I guess I'm missing one stem. So let's punch that one out. Oops, let's get it in there, line it up. And there we go, we got pieces flying. And we'll go ahead and tape that on the back. I don't know about you guys, but especially here in Michigan, uh, more in the spring, we don't get the fresh ones anymore, but we get amazing cherries. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh, it just makes me think of Traverse City, Michigan, where a lot of our cherries come from. So we're going to stick that on there and use our leaf as well. Now notice I am putting dimensionals on the inside of the card. People sometimes are afraid to do that. Like my card's not going to close. Oh yes, it will. It'll smush down. It'll be just fine. But isn't that adorable? And then we'll just stamp a cherry on the envelope and it's ready to send off. Now let me show you some other ones that I made. Now all of these are made the same way. I just used a bunch of the different greetings that are in there. Inside's the same. Thank you for being sweet, so sweet. And then this one I just turned this way, wishing you a sweet birthday. And let's see, what's our other one? Life is sweet with you in it. And there we go, super easy. Let's bring in our other one, sweet birthday wishes. And then here are my envelopes. You can see I just stamped, I didn't punch out at all, but I stamped a cherry on the envelope as well.
there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. You saw how quick and easy it is to make some fun cards using what I call the SIP method of stamping. Stamp, sink, and paper is all you need to make cute cards. Well, stamp, sink, and paper, and a punch in this case. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Show me some love. Let me know that you like what, what I share with you, and make sure to share it with your friends as well. Don't forget to hop over to the blog post um, the links down in that video description and you'll see pictures of these along with the list of all the supplies, the colors, the measurements, everything you need to make them. So thanks for watching. We'll be stamping again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.